templates can be assigned to a single post, single page, posts archive, author, date, category and tag archive, as well as the search and 404 error pages. These are the same pages which can be linked in the WordPress menu. The content of your selected page will be automatically available as page sources. For example, a single page will render a single page, Posts Archive will render the post's index page displaying all its posts, a single post, a single post respectively, and all archive pages will render the corresponding page and display all its posts. Let's go through the pages one by one. First, let's create a template for a single post page. Give it a name. And since we are on a single post page, it is already selected. Depending on the page, there are different filter options to specify and restrict the assignment. For example, you can limit single posts by terms. The template will only be assigned to posts with the selected terms. Posts from child terms are not included. You can use the Shift or Ctrl or Command key to select multiple terms. Click Save. And as you can see, our template appears in the single post group. Now let's create a layout for this template. I have already prepared a layout, which I saved in the layout library. To map the content of our post to the panel element, we first need to select it as the content source. Since it is the source of the current page, you can find it under Page. Now the fields of our post are available for mapping. Let's map the title of our post, Content, and the featured image. And as you can see, our whole post is rendered in the panel element. Click Save and let's go back to the Templates panel. Now let's create a template for the Category Archive page. Give it a name and choose Category Archive as the page assignment. Here you can limit templates by categories. Again, child categories are not included. If no category is selected, the template is assigned to all categories. Additionally, you can limit the template assignment by page number. So the template can either apply to all pages, the first page, or all pages except for the first page. So this way you can have a different template for the first page of your template. For our example, let's select all pages. Click Save and as you can see, our template appears under the Category Archive group. To create a layout for this template, we first need to go to the Category Archive page. Now the Builder button appears next to our template. Here I also prepared a layout in the Layout library. For this layout, I want to display all posts in the grid element. First, we need to select Posts as the content source. And now the fields of our posts are available for mapping. Let's map the title of our posts, image, and link. And as you can see, all posts from the news category are shown in our layout. Now let's take a look what other filter options there are. For the post archive page, you can limit the template assignment by page number. The same applies to the Author Archive. Date Archive additionally has an option to limit the template assignment by the archive type. So you can apply the template to the year, month, day or time archive. If you create a template for the Tag Archive page, you can limit template assignment by tags. The template will only be assigned to the selected tags. And additionally, limit the template by page number. If you create a template for the search, you can also limit it by page number. Single page and error 404 pages have no further filter options. To access the error page, click the link in the description text under the template list. Here you will also find a link on how to return to the home page.